Hey everyone, it is Patrick Mesner from Mr. Electric 2002 and in today's video, it's been a long time. It's been a, it's been since like November, I last uploaded a video, November 2019. Um, but I thought that in, you know, response to all the COVID-19 bullcrap, uh, I'd show you one of my past germ killing inventions. This is a mercury vapor bulb right here. This is for a street lamp. That's a mercury vapor bulb too. But the difference is the outer bulb is smashed off. This arc lamp right here is an arc of electricity through that glass tube right there. And it creates super powerful UV radiation. Kill all life in the room. And if that isn't bad enough, the UV radiation blasts through the oxygen atoms in the air and ionizes them into ozone, which has free radicals, which destroys DNA. So if you leave this running in your room, make sure to have that, that arc tube clean, though, because if this thing runs with any, any, if that glass tube, if you touch that and try to run it, it'll explode from the oils on your finger. This will kill all the germs in your entire room without you even cleaning everything because it releases a torrent of UV radiation and you'll smell the ozone gas. It'll smell like chlorine bleach almost. It'll smell kind of like chlorine and bleach. It's super powerful UV radiation and it's very good at killing germs. I did a test a while back with a petri dish full of the bacterial culture, dead. Mold on bread, dead from this lamp. So the way this works is the arc tube right there is quartz glass. It lets, UV, it lets UV radiation from the electrical arc right through. This right here, this outer bulb, stops UV radiation, only lets out visible light photons and the UV photons are absorbed. This one lets everything through. through. Infrared, UV, visible light. So, I'm going to plug it in real quick just so you guys can see how the thing works. And I'm going to have to move it around because I don't have an, an outlet right here to plug it into. So, bear with me here. Also, as a word of caution, Never run these bulbs without a ballast. You can't plug these bulbs directly into the wall because they'll overdraw and they'll explode. The ballast limits the current 175 watt. See the specs right there for that particular bulb. And as a precautionary measure, don't try doing this. I'm right in the same room as the thing. This can cause skin cancer and severe sunburns in just minutes. So I'm just going to plug it in real quick to show you how the thing works and what it is capable of doing. Now as soon as I plug it in, don't look at it. It'll It's terrible for your eyes. UV radiation is terrible for your eyesight. So we're just going to get this plugged in. A little more room there. And there we go. It's gonna block my eyes right here. I'm blind myself. It's probably bad for the camera too. And right off the bat, I can smell ozone. Yep. Oh god. Yep. It smells like bleach. I'm gonna unplug that now. No. Oh, it. Stuck a little bit. Terrible for your eyes, terrible for your skin, but it's also terrible for COVID-19 and pretty much all other viruses and bacteria. So still, don't try making this at your house because what you, what you have to do is kind of hard to do, but you have to smash the outer bulb off with a tack hammer. You have to do it just right so that, get out of here, it's ozone, it's terrible for you. Um, yeah, smash the
outer ball off with a, uh, with a small hammer. If it's too big of a hammer, you'll just smash the arc tube, and, th and that has mercury in it. Don't want that getting into your uh, backyard or workshop. And be careful of the sharp, jagged edges, of course. Now, this can also work for mold in your bathroom. This will kill all bacteria and viruses and mold. It'll leave it on for an hour, kill everything, but don't go in there with it, because see? I was playing with the thing yesterday. I got sunburn, or no, I got UV burn. It's sunburn, but yeah, it was like, right? Somewhere right there. So, without further, oh yeah, by the way, extra bleach in the wash. This is not from the UV lamp. A little too much bleach on Bruce Lee here. So, yeah. Well, hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. By the way, I'm going to try to upload more often. Not been doing so good on that. All right, everybody. Take care.